In this video, we are going to run the Linux and free RTOS AMP demo we just built using Yocto on an Icicle kit. The demo contains two applications that showcase the usage of the Remote Processor Messaging Framework, also known as RP Message Framework, to send messages between a Linux software context running on hearts 1, 2, and 3, and a free RTOS context running on heart 4. We will use the Minicom terminal software to connect to the UART 1 and UART 3 consoles. You can use any terminal emulator you like for this. In the window on the left, we are going to use Minicom to connect to UART 1. In the window on the right, we are also going to use Minicom to connect to UART 3. This will allow us to interact with the Linux console on UART 1 and the free RTOS application on UART 3. On baud sessions, we are connected with a baud rate of 115,200. Turn on the Icicle Kit and wait for the Linux and free RTOS boot processes to finish. Before we start running the demos, log in to the Linux console using the root username. In the image on the right, the free RTOS application will display a menu. We are now going to run the first RP message application demo. Type 1 in the serial terminal to start the ping pong demo. This will send a name service announcement to the Linux context to request the creation of a new channel. Now we can now run the RP message ping pong demo on the Linux context. First, navigate to the opt slash microchip directory. Inside this directory, there is an AMP directory which contains the RP message application demos. Navigate to the RP message ping pong directory. Now run make to compile the application. Finally, run the RP message ping pong demo. The Linux Ping Pong user space application uses the RP message channel and endpoint that were just created to send chunks of data of variable sizes to the free RTOS context. The free RTOS context echoes the data back to the Linux context, which then validates the data returned. Next, we are going to type 0 in the serial terminal associated with the free RTOS context to display the main menu and then type 2 to run the console demo. The free RTOS context will send a name service announcement to request the creation of a new RP message channel. The Linux context will use the RP message TTY driver to create a new device in Linux which can be used to send and receive messages to and from the free RTOS context. By default, the Linux software context sends a hello world message to the free RTOS context. We can send more messages by using the RP message TTY Linux example. Now it's time to run the TTY console demo in the Linux context. Now we are going to navigate back to the AMP directory and then change directory to the RP message hyphen TTY hyphen example. Now we can run the make command to compile the application and start it by running the RP message TTY executable. The application will show a prompt which can be used to type any text message to send to the free RTOS context. We are going to send a message which is hello from the Linux context to the free RTOS context. Type in quit to exit the application on both ends. Next, we are going to type 0 in the serial terminal associated with the free RTOS context to display the main menu, and then we are going to type 3 to run the sample echo demo. In the sample echo demo, the free RTOS context sends a name service announcement to the Linux context to request the creation of a channel with the name RP Message Client Sample. This channel is associated with the RP Message Sample Client kernel driver available on mainline Linux. The free RTOS context sends a number of Hello World message strings to the Linux context, which in return echoes the data back to the free RTOS context. We can see the received message on the Linux context use the dmessage command to display the kernel information messages. 
For more information, please refer to the Polar Fire SOC RP message documentation in the Polar Fire SOC documentation repository. The link is provided in the description below.